Hey guys, this is Caro. Today I would like to share with you the what if number four. So we've been uh, spending about like three weeks to share what if number one through the what if number three. Uh, what if number one, what if there is a co one coffee shop each county, uh, one coffee shop church each county, and what if there are two platforms for the church online and offline. And what if number three was, what if there are three every for the church, every nation, every uh, tongue, and every, every tribes, right? So today I would like to share with you the number four. What if number four? What if there are four stages for growth of the church? I'm not talking about having more people standing in the worship service building, but then we are the church, and what if there are four stages for us as a church to grow? And Saddleback Church, uh, we teach this. We bring people in, build them up, train them for ministry, and send them out for mission. I love that. Actually, basically, what I want to talk to you about is that uh, four stages for growth of the church. And since we are talking about coffee shop church, how about we talk about uh, coffee? <laughs> So it starts with, I, I'm not going to spend so much time on explaining in detail, but then the journey begins with a tiny little coffee bean. It is not roasted, it is a seed of the coffee tree. When the seed is planted in the good soil, it sprouts and it grows, right? And then the next stage is to actually become a tree. Uh, in order for a tree to grow healthy and strong, uh, it needs the sun. That's why I'm actually wearing my sunglasses. Um, it needs the uh, sunlight and also uh, water and carbon uh, dioxide from the air and also the nutrient from the soil, right? So it needs to grow healthy and strong. And before, this is the third, before a coffee tree can uh, actually bear fruit, uh, it, it may take three, four years. Uh, it needs to grow up first. And then when it, it is ready, it's gonna um, um, have flowers and the fruits. And fruits are actually cherries, right? And then uh, from the cherry, we get the coffee bean. And then final stage is actually to become a coffee drink um, so it could be uh, espresso it could be pour over latte and you could do some latte art with that or some people might like uh, cortado and things like that and the coffee wakes our body up and also our spirit up so that we can get closer to God and closer to other people and when you think about it coffee shop it's kind of like a church and church is kind of like a coffee shop because we are talking about people how they need to actually walk the journey to get closer to God and get closer to people and when they are going through these stages from coffee bean planted on the soil in the ground become a tree grows up and bear fruit and also it makes the impact in the world for Christ. So that's the church that we are dreaming about. What if there are four stages for growth, grow for us to become a church? Have a great day. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing. So we talked about uh, someone become a Christ follower, bean, planted in the soil and become a coffee, a uh, mature Christian, right? But then for the people who don't know Christ, their journey could actually be reversed they are going to visit our coffee shop church and they are, they are going to experience who God is and, and what He has done for us with uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. And then they are going to see the fruits and they are going to see flowers of uh, the church and then they get to know about how to actually become a coffee tree and then they are actually become a coffee bean seed so that they can actually start their own journey to follow Christ. That was it. Have a great day.